If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Nikola Tesla Join me as I unlock some of the secrets of the universe today. Hello, hello, hello. Congratulations. You are listening to the Manifest on Purpose show. I am your host, Kimberly. I am here to help you manifest on purpose. Thank you so much for sharing your time and energy with me today. Thank you for all of those you've invited. And thank you for subscribing here and on the website at Kimberly, K I M B A L E Y dot com. The God in me loves the God in you. Today, we're going to talk about raising your vibrations. Do you need to raise your vibes a bit? We're going to get into what vibration is and why you need to make sure that you are vibrating at the highest level. But before we get into the conversation, we have to hear our numerology forecast for today, courtesy of astronumerologist Lloyd Strayhorn and the Astar 8 numerology app. It is Monday, February the 19th. The sun is in Aquarius. The moon is in Cancer. It's a one universal month, a four universal week, and 11 universal day. As we're about to transition from one zodiac sign to another, this is an equally exceptional day to make a transition of sorts in your affairs as well. It's likely to be around relationships primarily. It may also mean making a transition around the home or the workplace. Whichever area the transition takes place, you can rest assured you're likely to be better off than you were yesterday. Leo, Aquarius, Cancer, and those born on the 2nd, 7th, 11th, 16th, 20th, 25th, and 29th of any month may feel it the most. Once again, this is our numerology forecast, courtesy of astronumerologist Lloyd Strayhorn and the Astar 8 numerology app. You can download that app to get your forecast every day at Astar 8, A-S-T-A-R, the number 8, dot com or you can get it on Google Play and the App Store. You can also go to linktree forward slash numbers and you. Also, if you would like to get more insight about you and your numbers, you can get your personal numerology report, your compatibility report, how this year is going to be for you with the yearly forecast. And also you can get your business report. To get those reports, go to Kimberly.com, K-I-M-B-A-L-E-Y.com. Now let's get into the show. I just love it when I hear people say, ask your questions. There's no such thing as a stupid question because I love to ask questions. And trust and believe me, I am going to ask questions. That's what happened some years ago after listening to a lecture from a pastor. The lecture was about treating people nicely, being kind to others. I was bold enough to ask the pastor, what if there is somebody that you just don't like? because that was the case for me at the time. The pastor looked me square in the eyes and the pastor said, you pray for them. 
And I thought to myself, what kind of answer is this? The pastor went on to say that if you pray for someone, especially on a continuous basis, by that person being on your mind so much, in due time, you will change the way that you feel about that person. Without even knowing, that pastor was teaching me the art of vibration. What is vibration? I know you hear it so much all the time now. Raise your vibes. Make sure that your vibrations are high enough. But not a lot of people really explain what vibrations are. Technically, there is a universal law, the law of vibration. What this universal law states is that everything on a microscopic level is moving. Therefore, it has a frequency, a vibration. Even you, even your thoughts, because your thoughts are energy in motion. That's what we are. That's what it boils down to. We are energy. Everything that's on this planet, even the things that don't seem to be moving, are really moving. So here's what you need to know that's important about this moving energy. This moving energy attracts energy. The type of energy that this moving energy attracts is like energy. So whatever you're vibrating, you're going to attract that very same thing back to you. Thus says the law. Of vibration. Think about frequency on a different level. You're not going to turn to Fox News and see MSNBC, or you're not going to turn to your favorite hip hop station and hear gospel tunes. That's because NBC and Fox News are not on the same vibration or frequency. Same thing for the gospel and the hip hop frequencies. They're not the same. One of the reasons why this is so important is because there are a lot of people that question why they're not able to manifest the things that they would like to have in their life. This is one of those reasons. Take, for example, a person that would like to be wealthy. But let's just say that this person has a poverty mentality or a poverty mindset. This person with that mindset will not become wealthy as long as they continue to vibrate on the frequency of poverty. Hence the saying, you don't attract what you want. You attract what you are. You attract that vibration that you are emitting into the universe. And I don't want anyone to feel left out. Just in case you're wondering, you are vibrating at a frequency also. You are emitting vibrations to the universe. The way that you can tell what you are vibrating to the universe is to look at the things that you are attracting into your life. Whatever you're attracting is the same thing that you are emitting out to the universe. So if there's something in particular that you want to attract, let's just say love then the love has to start within you first. Once you vibrate that love into the universe, then that love will attract more love back to you. One of the complaints I get when I start speaking on this is, boy, I don't think I can be positive all day long. How can a person be positive all the time. And I want you to realize that, yes, it's impossible that you can be positive at all times because there are some things that may come into your life to challenge you. But it's about how long you stay there in it. 
When you see that negativity coming in your life, then shift it quickly as soon as you're aware that it's there. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you four tips on how to raise your vibration so that you can be vibrating at the best frequency possible so that you can attract those things that you really want into your life. First things first, keep away from the energy vampires. These energy vampires, they disguise themselves as your co-workers, your friends, your family members. They disguise themselves as those narcissists that have come into your life. Sometimes it can be just an acquaintance. These are the people that come into your life that only has negativity and drama to bring into your life. You know that one I'm talking about. Negative Nancy. Every time you see negative Nancy, she has something negative to talk about. What has happened to her? What somebody is doing to her? Why she can't do this? Why you can't do that? There's something you should know about negative Nancy. She never has a positive thing to say. She's just always in your life draining your energy because it makes a difference in you as well. When you continue to listen to her negativity, it will start to shake up some things in you to make you start seeing life on the negative side, same as she does. This affects your vibration. So let me tell you what you do with people like Negative Nancy. First, you try to change the conversation to something that has a more positive tone. You see how Negative Nancy reacts to that. Now, I know Negative Nancy, and I know that she's just going to flip the conversation to start talking about more negativity again. But then once that happens, you exit stage left. You have something to do. You have to go eat lunch. You have to step outside for a break. You got to go read. You got to do something to get away from negative Nancy because you do not want her to be draining your energy with her negativity. It's so funny, I always use Winnie the Pooh, the character Eeyore. He's the donkey, and he would be the negative Nancy in that storyline. Everywhere Eeyore went, he had a black cloud over him, and it would be raining. And everywhere he went, this cloud just followed him, and he was always being negative. Well, that's how negative Nancy is. Negative Nancy is like Eeyore, if you remember who Eeyore was on Winnie the Pooh. Always something negative. But we're going to leave Nancy right here. We're going to go on to number two. This one is a biggie for me because so many people still do not know the impact that media has on them or you. Media is powerful. You think about it. These things are created to grab your attention. These things you hear in media, whether it's on radio, whether it's online, whether it's on the television, are designed to get your emotions involved, to get you to do something that whoever is creating this program wants you to do. And that's never good. So when people watch these negative movies all the time, these negative shows all the time, they start to become just like negative Nancy because their view of the world has gone to take on that view that they are being showed from those media outlets. When the pandemic first began, People were so afraid because it was always on the news. 
every time you turn the radio on, every time you turn the news on, it was always some type of update about this disease. And this put the people in more panic than anything. So just let that be an example of how media can really change your vibration. The best thing to do is to do the old fashioned thing. Pick up a good book sometimes. And even if you do watch media, make sure that is something that's educational. Make sure that is something that's clean, something that is drama free. And I'm telling you from experience recently, with so much going on in Hollywood and with these celebrities, Every time you turn on a social media channel or even on the television, you're hearing this drama and this information coming from these people. And of course, they make it sound so interesting and so exciting, making you want to tune in. But you have to think about, is this really doing something good for me? Is this really raising my vibration or is it taking me down a notch? Keep that in mind whenever you are listening to or watching any type of media. Number three is one of my favorite things. I suggest that everyone find a hobby and get lost in it. I think this is one of the best things you can do to raise your vibration. It's like going into a state of flow. When you really find something that you're passionate about doing, something that can take your mind off everything that's going around you for that moment, those are things that can really help you raise your vibration. So if you don't have a hobby, then find one. Find a hobby that can distract you from the rest of the world. Number four is probably one of the hardest things that people have to do. And that is face yourself. What are you saying to yourself? Are you speaking to yourself positivity and encouragement? Are you speaking confidence towards yourself? You don't have to wait for anybody to tell you that they are proud of you. Be proud of yourself first. Raising your vibration has to begin with you first. That's the most important thing for you to know. Because if your vibration is already low, these energy vampires, this media All of these things can come in and drain your vibration even more. But if you have a strong foundation within, no one or nothing can shake that core. And finally, I have a surprise for you. I have a bonus tip for helping you raise your vibration. This is actually one of my favorite things, and it's just like heaven, gratitude, daily and nightly. Every morning, the first thing you should do before you even open your eyes is be in gratitude. Every night, as soon as your head touches the pillow, you should be in gratitude. And I said that this feels like heaven because after a few days, you can actually feel a difference in your vibration. You'll even begin to see it in small ways, such as your days seem to get better for you. And then you make a habit of it. After a while, You'll be in gratitude all day long just because of that morning and nightly routine of gratitude. And the secret to this bonus tip is the subconscious magic hours. Those hours are as soon as you wake up in the morning, 
and right before you go to sleep at night, your subconscious mind is more open to suggestion. So whenever, especially at nighttime, you make a suggestion to your subconscious mind, it plays in your mind all night. You won't remember it because of course you're asleep, but it's going on to create a program. So make sure that you're practicing that routine of gratitude. So here's the thing. When that pastor first told me to pray for that person every day, I didn't start right away. I needed some time to make sure in my mind that that was something that I really wanted to do. However, in due time, I went ahead and did it. And as I said, it made the relationship more tolerable. But what that pastor really was teaching me was the law of vibration. And hopefully here today, that's what you got from this message. Knowing that everything, including you, on a microscopic level, is moving. The chair you're sitting in right now, it's moving. Even though you can't even tell it. It's energy. And energy has a frequency that creates a vibration. You're always creating a frequency, and emitting a vibration into the universe. The most important thing that you should know about that is whatever you emit or whatever you put out there, it's going to come back to you, whether you like it or not. So it's important for you to maintain the highest vibration possible because like attracts like. You don't attract what you want. You attract who you are. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Nikola Tesla. I love you to life. This is how you manifest on purpose. Oh, <laughs>